Sport and Recreation Minister Fakilem Balula has yet again denied allegations that the 2010 LOC acted in an illegal manner to secure the first World Cup on African soil, allocating $10 million of their $423 million budget to the African Diaspora Legacy Program in order to benefit Caribbean football and former CONCACAF President Jack Warner. This money that is alleged to be a bribe was processed after, it, long after it has actually been agreed. That, um, uh, that South Africa will host uh, the 2010 uh, World Cup. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are not on the defensive mode. Our responsibility is to explain this 10 million and why it was ex uh, allocated. The story about it being a bribe is what it is actually alleged by those who are doing investigations. Mbalula addressed the large media contingent at the South African Football Association headquarters, minus the former SAFA president, Mulefi Oliphant, who signed off on the letter to FIFA Secretary General Jerome Falker, demanding that the funds be sent to the Caribbean. It has uh, imbibed and raised a lot of awareness amongst our citizens and irritation to some, precisely because some people somewhere, they don't even allege, they state as fact that we bribed and uh, without following due protocols to even follow with us. We have explained, we don't have a problem with the United States of America. In fact, they will have allies in us to fight corruption wherever it is found. But we will never be part of vested interest and will never compromise our sovereignty at any goal for whatever reason. That's why we don't want to politic around the question of why FIFA and all of that? We don't, because they do what is within their right as a federal government. And they've got cogent reasons why they do that. And they say in, the, in their doing of that work, they stumbled across this big thing of a bribe to the Caribbean. And I explained from the onset that neither this money did it come out of the coffers of the South African government. The sports minister was reluctant to comment on the resignation of FIFA president Seb Blatter, but did say the 79-year-old was a friend of African football. FIFA will speak for itself. And I think uh, the development of his re re I mean, resignation four days after he was elected, like all of you, uh, shocked uh, us. Uh, so it's him only and only him and what he said in his statement that he loves football, he wants to give everything a chance. Uh, who knows why he had to resign uh, in this particular regard. So we can't speculate. But you must understand that that happens amidst uh, all these developments of investigations and all of that. So we can only say it is because of the investigation. The Sports and Recreation Minister is adamant that South Africa's hands in this matter is clean, that the $10 million paid to Jack Warner, the former CONCACAF president, is in fact not a bribe and it was to help the program of developing football in the Caribbean. The big question though, why was no one from SAFA here today to answer to the questions? At this stage, there are still questions that need to be answered by those authorities with regards to this FIFA investigation. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.